Hey guys and welcome to Los Angeles. We had one more full day in San Francisco before we drove down to LA and we basically rented a car on the day to come up, visit a lot of the shops and a lot of the sites that are a little bit away from the city center itself. Our first stop of the day was Costco. Now Costco is really big in the US and there is actually a Costco in Australia as well and we really just wanted to see how it would compare in terms of size and the offerings and it wasn't all that much bigger than the one in Melbourne. Our next stop was at Muji. Now Muji is kind of a weird mix of clothes, stationary household items, kind of like the Japanese version of IKEA with lots and lots of other little lifestyle items thrown in. That was actually quite nice, it was really well presented and we bought a few small things. After that we drove kind of back towards the city, we drove towards Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is a lookout that's kind of in the middle of San Francisco itself and you can kind of see over the city, you can see the bay on either side of San Francisco, which is really nice. It was really really windy though, so kind of getting a bit of a headache from the cold wind. After the Twin Peaks we took the car across the Golden Gate Bridge and we stopped near Battery Spencer. It was already getting really packed even though it wasn't even close to sunset at that time. But we managed to find a spot to park the car and we walked along the water to probably one of the most scenic spots to see the Golden Gate Bridge and San Francisco in the background. Most of the photos that you'll ever see of the Golden Gate Bridge are usually taken from that spot which is Battery Spencer. And so we walked around there for a little bit, took a few photos and that was kind of the last stop for the day before going back to the hotel. On the next day we got up really early because we started driving down from San Francisco to LA along Highway 1 which goes along the coastline which is really really nice and scenic but it turned into a really windy road really fast so it was getting a bit tricky to drive and it took us a long time. Now we did do two stops on the way, the first one was in Monterey where we grabbed lunch slash breakfast at Lulu's. Lulu's was very well rated, it sits at the pier of Monterey just kind of reaching out to the water and they had humongous pancakes, not just big, like hanging over the plate, three centimeter thick pancakes. And that was kind of what I was expecting from the US, everything being absolutely super sized so that you can't even finish it with two people. So after that we walked along the pier for a little bit more then jumped back into the car and headed down further south. Lots of tourists, lots of lookouts and lots of beaches along the way off Highway 1 going along the coast so it was really nice and scenic. It was a really long drive though. Our next stop was actually Morro Bay. In Morro Bay we just grabbed some fish and chips for food and then we had a look at what makes Morro Bay so popular which is Morro Rock. Morro Rock kind of reminded me of Uluru, it's just a huge boulder in the middle of the ocean just kind of poking out right in front of Morro Bay. But it was really cool to have a look and just kind of get out of the car and stretch our legs because we had been driving for a bit over six hours by that time. And from there we continued on to the last stop of our day which was Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara we stayed at a really nice B&B called the Catcher Inn which is all Alice in Wonderland theme that Selena wanted to check out. It's really quaint looking sitting out in the suburbs and the people were really friendly so we kind of dropped our bags off there, grabbed something to eat over at IHOP and then turned in for the night. Yesterday, after having a really nice kind of British breakfast at the Catcher Inn, we jumped in the car and started heading down to LA. On the way we stopped over in Malibu just because you see it so much on TV, you hear so much about it, we just wanted to check it out for ourselves. It was a really really empty beach, probably because it was the middle of the week, but it was really scenic, really nice, just lots and lots of just villas and houses lined up along the coastline. Grabbed something to eat at Malibu Seafood which was pretty decent, they had really great views of the ocean obviously being right at the ocean and then we continued on down to LA. When we got to LA we kind of just dropped all our bags at the hotel and kind of just had a little bit of a walk around, just grab something to eat, um, just kind of have a very first experience of LA. It's crazy traffic, there's lots of homeless people there, I think it takes a little bit to get used to but you know we're finally here and today today we're going to Disneyland which I'm really excited about. I've been to Disneyland Paris when I was a kid so really curious to see how this one stacks up. Hopefully it'll be as super sized as the pancakes that we had at Lulu's. Um, but we shall see. I'll do another vlog in a couple of days to let you know how things are going. Until then, I will see you later.